Carl Weiss and I'm an artist and not just visual art but I'm also into writings. We can definitely feel your spiritual nature just by walking into your beautiful home and it's, it's evident that you, you're a very spiritual person. I, I believe we are all born with some spiritual aspects and uh, art is everywhere. It's, it's beauty, it's harmony, art in my cooking, art in my speech, art in my writings. It's uh, maybe something you are born with. I was born in Cyprus because my parents uh, reached Israel in an illegal way in 46. So you were born basically when? Just a couple of months before the state of Israel uh, was born. And the minute uh, the independence was declared, then we came to Israel. I was six months old. How did your journey as an artist begin? Uh, in 1982, we, the whole family left Bangkok. Uh, my husband has a job there, and we were posted for four years. And this is where I started to paint. In 1993, I went to Tzfat. And something happened there that uh, was completely a turning point in my, in my journey. I came home and I... Um, started to paint on three canvases at the same time and I felt that I am not painting anymore from my conscious. I started of course painting, you can see all the fire and the sand and the crying and this came out like the Ten Commandments, the stone. And I stopped here and I continued with some white paint because there is hope. I realized that the journey that I'm going into is uh, starting from bondage going to freedom. So if you allow me to get more personal, what were you locking up inside that you had to release? Uh, since I was a child, I never spoke until the age of 11 almost. I didn't know a thing about the Holocaust. It was shushu. I lived in a silent world. My mother never told me a thing, neither my father, and I didn't know anything about seeing pictures of relatives on the wall in my grandma's house. And I was told that they, were, they died in the war. I had to discover myself. I, I think that the story that I'm telling is of course mine, but it belongs to my parents. It belongs to our nation and it belongs to all the people who wander, uh, searching for their root, because we are in so many ways lost in life. I know where I belong to. There is a solid root um, under my feet and above my head. I belong to the wild world. I, I belong as a Jew to my nation and I'm also Israeli. Why do you feel it's important for someone to search for their roots? Because otherwise we are lost. If we don't know where we belong, if we don't know the place of our nest, a place that we can always come back to, that we cannot open our wings and fly high.